Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to update your Nitrato Power World server. As Power World continues to progress, there are plenty of updates to be on the lookout for. And what that means as a server owner is that you consistently need to be on the lookout to update your server as well as the game. So today we're going to go over the two different ways that you can manage your server and update it regularly. How to update automatically. Updating automatically is actually a relatively simple process. Just go ahead and open up your panel dashboard and you're going to hit the green restart server button in order to, well, you guessed it, restart the server. Double down on the pop-up that appears and after just a few moments, your server should be updated to the latest version of the game that is available as is updated on the actual game itself. I hope that makes sense. It's a relatively simple process and it is something that I recommend doing every once in a while in general just to keep your server up to date. How to update manually. This is also a relatively simple process, but is one that you have to take more consideration for as it is going to restart your server from a more base vanilla state, meaning that if you have progress on your world, then you're going to lose it if you do it this way, but it is a surefire way to get it done. Scroll down to the left-hand side and hit that big reinstall button and a pop-up will appear. And of course, you're going to hit the reinstall button in order to get the update changed. But don't forget, this restarts progress. Common issues. The first one we're going to take a look at is my Power World server isn't starting. If this is the case, it could just be that the update is taking a little bit of extra time to get all settled in, and it's just a matter of playing the waiting game. Just be patient and it should work. Next is unable to update modded server. When this is the case, it's because mods can't update at the exact same moment that the game updates. So remove any mods that are conflicting with the files and then you should be good to go. Conclusion. Hopefully you found this quick guide helpful and informative, as sometimes it's the simple things that really get you. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time, Oh. Huh. <gasps>